Long time ago, in the deepest part of the jungle, a plane crashed. There was only one survivor, a young baby boy. Who else but Philippe Candeloro? In his technical, he and was he survivor on an island. Tall. Now he's a survivor in the jungle. George of the jungle, protector of the animals. It's another epic from Philippe Candeloro. He was fifth after the technical program with a score of 96.2. He has a lot of ground to make up. Starting out big with a triple Lutz, a very solid triple Lutz. And a beautiful triple loop. He knew after the technical he was going to have to pull out all his guns, but this gun, I'm not sure. Should he be in the pair event? I don't know. Again, props are allowed in this part of the program. They were not allowed in the technical program, where, of course, Philippe had them. Grabbing that bone in the enormous double axle. Now what happens is when you use a prop in a jump like that, you put the focus on the prop because it's a distraction. And maybe that's good for Philippe because he doesn't have to worry about the jump so much. The prop works for him. I don't know what Philippe is expecting to gain from this program other than, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, it's, it's so silly. But again, the judges know that he comes out there each year with something bizarre. And this year, I think he pushed the envelope. Well, that's a novelty, standing on the boards. He's great. Look at his speed, his quickness. It's all good. He just has to go to the extreme when he does the program, or when he does a program like this. That's his trademark crossfoot spin. You haven't seen that in a while. Maybe he belonged in the dance event. <laughs> there are lots of ways to get an audience, and Philippe continues to surprise us and shock us. I guess it's not so much of a surprise or a shock. He just takes it a little bit further each year. And I really think this is not the place for it. Not in a competition, maybe a show, but not here at the World Professional Championships. And, oh wow, that's one way of getting their attention. I'm just not sure that's the kind of attention he wants from the judges, especially the male judges. That's Ron Ludington right there, and Christine Huff on the other side of him. He's just so bizarre. He's a great athlete. 
He's a great entertainer. The audiences love him. But again, I don't think this program was so appropriate for the World Professional Championships. I think Christine is still stunned. This is one of those moments that he looks for all he can get from those in charge. I'm just not sure this is the way to go about doing it. <laughs> and you can see by her expression, she definitely doesn't feel that. Funny as he may be, I'm not sure he was so competitive in this event this year. Sort of whatever marks on that technical mark. No one is really committing themselves. You can see it. Yeah, they sort of liked it, sort of didn't. Because it was so over the top. It either had to blow them away or be disappointing. And I think really it was disappointing. Thank you. Bye-bye.